Welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm Ashley Martello. We're pleased to be joined again by retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, a Republican candidate for the U.S. House from Florida's 22nd Congressional District. Now it runs along the Atlantic coastline from northern Broward County to the northern end of Palm Beach County. The district is being represented now by Democrat Ron Klein. Colonel West served more than 20 years in the U.S. Army and in several combat zones, including Iraq and Afghanistan. He's received many military awards, including the Bronze Star. In addition, he holds two master's degrees. Welcome back, Colonel. Absolute pleasure to be here with you, Ashley. Okay. Rather than campaigning on his record in Congress, including his votes in favor of the stimulus and the Obama health care overhaul, Ron Klein has chosen to run attack ads against you. Distortions from Alan West can't hide the facts. Even with a six-figure income, Alan West has shown a consistent lack of personal responsibility. And Colonel, what's your response to that? Well, my response is when you are not able to articulate your voting record, when you're not uh, competent enough to talk about the issues that are very prevalent to the people here in South Florida. For instance, 13% unemployment, the fact that Palm Beach County is uh, number one in the state of Florida, which is number three in the nation for foreclosures. The only thing you can do is an attack ad and uh, the attack mantra against someone like myself. And Klein has been attacking me uh, ever since the night of the primary. I mean, we hadn't even won the primary. He started to come out against me. But what I think, you know, if you want to go back and, and pick up on things that are, have been rectified and try to build some kind of case against my character or, or who I am, the most important I would thing that I would say to Ron Klein is that my house is in order. But the fiscal house of the American people, which is the House of Representatives, is totally in disarray, especially when you realize we don't even have a budget in our country right now. And there's so much economic uncertainty and uh, no pre predictability out there for small business owners. NBC's Lisa Myers recently filed a report suggesting your connection to the Outlaws motorcycle <laughs> yeah, gang. That's pretty interesting. Now, the club has a history, as you know, of criminal activity. Myers said your association with that gang has cost you support in the Florida law enforcement community, although she did not attribute that to anyone and didn't say how she knows that. Is her report true? Her report is based upon some very, you know, the fact that I ride a motorcycle and someone asked me about associating with the, the Outlaws gang, which I have no association with them. But the most important thing I think that we're seeing all across the country is that uh, this whole mantra of attacking people that are really out there talking about strong constitutional principles, conservative values. Now, uh, what Lisa Myers needs to understand is I do have the endorsement of the Fraternal Order of Police, and I don't think there's any problem as far as uh, my relationship with law enforcement. And unless I can all of a sudden bleach my skin white, uh, I don't think that I'll be a member of the Outlaws Motorcycle Gang anytime soon. Democrats sent your social security number to tens of thousands of their party loyalists in a flyer. Now, isn't that against the law? And if so, why wasn't anybody prosecuted for it? Well, it is against the law, but I think that there are, this was an opportunity to maybe get me distracted and get me off message and get me to focus on that. But we will stay focused on winning this congressional election after we win this congressional election. We'll take care of that very despicable and disgusting act that uh, Ron Klein and the Florida Democrat Party executed uh, on a Friday. You know, And uh, it was, as a matter of fact, it was on the eve of Yom Kippur. What did you feel when you found out about that? Well, the thing was, it was my daughter who got the mail piece out, uh, the mail, and uh, she took it to my wife. I was upstairs at the time. And of course, when you see, uh, you know, you hear them screaming, uh, it was a very traumatic experience for my family over that weekend because that's a violation of your privacy. It was not just my social security number, but it was also my wife's federal employment identification number that they put out in a, in a hit piece mailer. But actually, it comes right back to what we were talking about earlier. When you can't talk about the issues, when you can't talk about your voting record, all you are doing is not just the politics of character assassination, but is now the destruction of an American family. Because I threaten Ron Klein and truly the liberal progressive agenda as far as this uh, ruling class elitism that they uh, profess. Democrats have also attacked your character, but now some of the mm -hmm. men that served under you are coming to your defense. Could you please explain why? Absolutely. Uh, we had my uh, driver when I was in Iraq, uh, he flew in because uh, he was very concerned. I mean, he's seeing the things that they're doing to me and he wanted to volunteer himself to do a commercial ad for us, which he did. And he talked about the story of the relationship that I had with him and of course the night when uh, he was shot. Uh, it ricocheted off of his chest and went through his arm, but uh, he's just a great young man, uh, Sergeant Robert Delgado. Colonel West was my commanding officer in Iraq. He was a tough leader whose top priority was the lives of his soldiers. In the beginning, I had not been issued protective armor to wear. 
Colonel West gave me his armor. One day we were attacked. I was hit right in the center of the chest. Without Colonel West, my children would be fatherless today. Now, Ron Klein, an attorney, is out on the campaign trail with Representative Elsie Hastings, an impeached yeah. federal judge. Yes. What should that tell voters? I think that should tell voters if you want to be concerned about, quote unquote, guilt by association. Here is a, uh, a guy who was an impeached federal judge who, uh, impeached by Congress, so what does he do? He goes and joins Congress. I think that speaks uh, volumes about the character of Ron Klein. And not just that, I mean, you had John Lewis who came down here as a representative of the Congressional Black Caucus. And we all know the ethics violations and the uh, financial uh, you know, issues that you see coming out of the Congressional Black Caucus. So I think we should be asking, you know, why is Ron Klein associating himself with individuals that uh, really do have a, a very scurrilous background. Now you've stated that uh, this year's elections are critical to the future of America as we know it, and that 47% of American households no longer pay any federal income taxes. Mm -hmm. Now, have we arrived at the tipping point where conservative reforms might be politically impossible to implement because of I, that? I think that right now, it, it is that we're at that tipping point. We're at that decisive point. And I think that's what makes the 2010 midterm election cycle so important. Because if we get to the point where in the United States of America, there are more people, a majority of people, that are wedded to government by subsistence check or by employment check. Because as you know, public sector is outpacing private sector two to one in compensation. Public sector growth, 9%. If the government grows and has more Americans tied to it, then as Margaret Thatcher says, socialism works very well until you run out of other people's money. And that is truly the tipping point we're at. Florida's Attorney General Bill McCollum recently won round one in the health care wars when a federal judge upheld his lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of Obamacare. Now, if you're elected to the House, will you work with other Republicans to immediately defund Obamacare and otherwise eviscerate the other portions of it, including the mandatory purchase of health insurance before it takes effect? Yes, you absolutely have to, and it's not just that. It's the $500 billion of cuts to Medicare we have to uh, make sure they don't go into effect. It's the 3.9% surcharge tax on Medicare recipients making $200,000 or, or more. It's the real estate tax. It's all these other taxes that are there. It's the fact that we're going to see 150 new government agencies and bureaucracies to include 16,000 new IRS agents. It's the fact that through the health care law, now all college education loans must go through the federal government. It's those type of things that we have to make sure that we do not allow to continue on. We've got to get back to free market, free enterprise solutions for our health care, uh, and we do need those reforms. And finally, Ron Klein, the incumbent in a district for many years held by a popular Republican, Clay Shaw. Now, he rode the quest of anti-Republican sentiment in 2006 to get elected. Mm -hmm. Can you ride the quest of anti-Democrat sentiment this time to get elected? I absolutely believe so. And, you know, when I ran in 2008, we came very close to winning. Uh, we finished up with 45.3 percent, and that was in a tough time for a conservative and, and absolutely in the Obama administration uh, tie. So now that uh, atmosphere has changed very much. But I think one critical thing we have to recognize is that Americans have pure disdain right now for Democrats, but they don't yet have full trust and confidence in the Republicans. So it's going to be very important that after we are successful, when we do have these victories, that we gain that trust and confidence back within the first 90 to 120 days because we don't want it to be where people see Republicans and Democrats as opposing wings of the same bird. Florida, U.S. House candidate Alan West, thank you so much, Colonel. Good Always. luck on the campaign Thanks, trail. Thanks, Ashley. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.